This interfaith institution in northern Nigeria aims to address religious ignorance through education. The founder believes there's so much ignorance among interfaith communities that breed hate and enmity, a gap the institute aims to bridge. So what we have been doing for the past 15 years is to bring Christians and Muslims together to do a one-year certificate course and a second-year diploma course in Christian-Muslim relations. Our emphasis is on relationship. The representative of Nigeria's president and the Archbishop of Canterbury described the foundation lane as a symbol of lasting peace in the North. Today is an important day for the center and indeed for the entire Nigerian religious community. As you lay the foundation stone, you are putting down a new foundation for peace in the north of Nigeria. You have a clear and powerful vision. A Nigeria where Christian and Muslim communities, in spite of their differences, work together for justice, peace and reconciliation towards the holistic development of the human family and the environment. And you have chosen the most effective means of achieving this aim, educating young people from both communities so that you have a critical mass of young women and men who understand both their religious teachings and those of other faith communities. Nigeria. Africa's most populous nation has been bedeviled with religious conflicts for one reason or another. The Gardner Center for the Study of Christian-Muslim Relations hopes to build a peaceful and harmonious society devoid of extremism. The United States has suffered too much from religious conflicts. The need for quality religious education, understanding and spiritual guidance in these perilous times cannot be overemphasized. It is very important that we continue to support and encourage centers like this in their effort to produce many persons that are properly educated about their own religion as well as the faith of others. Because of this religious conflict, lots of hardship, sorrow, and damages to the life and loss of property in Nigeria has been tremendous. So we hope by this center, people will now begin to understand each other and it will bring an end to using religion in inciting conflict. It's hoped that learning about other people's faiths will remove the fear that ignorance notches. Macy Gabriel, Arise News, Kaduna.